Welcome to how to use faculty grade entry. In this video you will learn how to enter your grades into the faculty grade entry tool. From your teaching and advising tab you will see the portal for faculty grade entry. Click on the link that says submit grades and you will be taken to faculty grade entry. Here you can see that there are two options to enter midterm grades or final grades. Click on the tab that is appropriate for what you are entering. The default is final grades, but if you are going to enter midterm grades, click on midterm grades. I am going to enter final grades. As you can see, your classes are listed below. Click on the class that you want to grade. I am going to grade this ACC 201 class. When you click on the class, the roster opens with all the students who are registered in the class. If you hover over a student's name, you can see their contact information. By clicking on the student's name, you will be taken to the student's advising profile. Let's get started with grading. In the drop-down under Final Grade, you can click to see all of the grades that are available to give each student. Let's give the first student a B+. Continue down the line giving each student the appropriate grade. Let's say this student received an F grade. Whenever a student receives an F grade, you must enter a last date of attendance. This student last attended August 21st, 2017. The date can be entered like I did, or it can be picked from a calendar. There is also an hours attended field. If the student never attended class, enter a zero. This is the only time that the hours attended field needs to be entered. This student never attended the class, so I'm going to enter a zero here. Let's say this student is getting an incomplete in this class. As you can see, once you give a student an incomplete, it takes you to another roster. The default grade after one year is for the incomplete to turn to an F. And here you can see that the extension date is one year. However, if you feel at the end of that one year, the student should get a different grade, you can change that. If the student does not complete any more work at this point, they should earn a C grade, you can change that. So at the end of the one year extension time, the student will receive a C grade. You can also extend or shorten the amount of time the student has to complete the work. So let's change this to June 1st. After six months time, the student will receive a C grade as opposed to the one year extension and they receive an F grade. Once I'm finished with this incomplete grade, I can click on roster to return to my full roster. When I have given grades to all the students on this page, I can navigate to the next page. When all the grades for that page are filled in, click save. When you have entered part of the grades and not all of them, you will notice next to the course that there is an in progress indicator under grading status. There is also a column called rolled. This column will always say not started until after the grades are rolled by the office of the registrar. You can ignore this column. Since I am in progress with this accounting class, I'm going to finish it up. Once you have entered all of your grades and saved them, you will notice that the grading status changes to complete and the bar changes to green. This way you know that all the grades for that section have been entered. Thanks for watching this video about faculty grade entry. If you have any questions, please contact the Office of the Registrar.